Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm currently looking for a place to film this intro because I feel like I always start my videos in the same location, so I'm trying to find a new location, but I can't find a place with good lighting, so. Okay, never mind. we're just gonna do it in the same place as usual. Welcome. So I'm filming this intro on my bed, so if the camera's shaky, that's because, you know, it's like on a mattress or whatever, but welcome back. I already said that. Basically, for today's video, I mean, you kind of read the title, but let me just give it some context. So, a few days ago, I mean, I've gotten, like, TikToks about this before. I think we all have. But I got this TikTok on my For You page, and it was, like, talking about what they call original lockdown. Also, yes, I still haven't fixed my photo wall. I probably won't ever do it. So, I think we're just gonna have to get used to the fallen photos. So, let me find the TikTok first so I can remember what it said and everything. But basically, people are treating, like, the beginning of quarantine as, like, a rare aesthetic or just, like, an aesthetic in general. Which, I'll get into my opinions on that in a second, but but let me just find this TikTok. So here it is, I'll put it on the screen on the side here. It says, the FaceTime calls, watching all of Outer Banks in one day, whipped coffee, walks with friends, the fresh air, hot out but not sweating hot, staying up till sunrise, collecting workouts, optional school, swimming in rivers, social distancing, picnics with friends. So the sound of this all sounds pretty nostalgic, you know, but there's something that humans do, myself included, obviously since I'm a human, but it really frustrates me when I see other people do it, even though I'm literally so guilty of this myself. But we need to stop like glamorizing old times in our life, whether it's like in our personal life or like a world issue, you know, like quarantine. Because sometimes I'll find myself like scrolling through my camera roll and I'll be like, oh, I remember when I took this picture, like, oh. I wish I could be back there, like, everything was so fun then. When in reality, like, in that moment, I wasn't, like, doing so good at the time, you know what I mean? Like, we glamorize old times in our life because we only think of the good memories of it. Like, we're literally sitting here on TikTok being like, oh, I remember old quarantine, I wish we could go back then. The world was not doing good then, and it's not doing good now either. Yeah, I seem kind of a hypocrite and consider- I seem like a hypocrite considering I just said that, but today we're recreating original lockdown, season one of quarantine, whatever we're deciding to call it. Some stuff that we're gonna do in this video is one, I guess go on a walk. This video is taking place over the span of like today and then like tomorrow. The thing about whipped coffee is I'm currently trying to like give up sweets right now and I've been on like a three day streak and I really don't want to like ruin it. So I don't want to make whipped coffee. Also, I made it back in like June and- Mm-mm. It's not good. But I might make, like, coffee at some point or something. Oh, I'm gonna watch Outer Banks, do a Chloe Ting workout, learn OG TikTok dances from that time, and then I guess we'll just play the rest by ear or... <laughs> So yes, it's gonna be a fun video. Stay tuned. Let's get started. So first things first, I think I'm gonna get my least favorite one out of the way. Also... Check. I know this doesn't even match. I've been wearing this for the past, like, two days. No, actually, like, three. First, we're doing Chloe Ting. I just want to get it out of the way. I did like the two-week challenge that everyone did back in May or April or whenever it was. I have a feeling this is gonna like send back some bad memories just because I feel like the music, exercises, everything, it's just gonna bring back some like bad memories. I'm only gonna do one. I'm not gonna do like an entire two-week challenge. Heck to the no. This video has 308 million views. Oh, this music. All exercise today are 30 seconds each and comes as you don't want to. I'm not putting this on the internet. Okay, this floor, I'm doing it on the carpet. I look so stupid. Okay, I'm doing like two more exercises and then I'm never watching one of her videos again. I literally did like three minutes of it. Like if I was genuinely trying to exercise right now, I could have finished it easily, but like I was just trying to film a video. I wasn't expecting to do like a full workout. Okay, before we continue, I think I'm just gonna get my priority straight, not priority straight. I'm gonna make a checklist of what we're doing in this video. Should have done that earlier, but since when was my handwriting this bad? What the heck? I think it's cause I haven't written on like actual paper in like months because now all we just do is like Google Docs. Do a Chloe Ting workout, check. Not really, more like do a Chloe Ting workout and then give up midway through. Check. Quarantine TikTok dances. Going on a walk. OG quarantine music. Watch some Outer Banks. Play Animal Crossing. So that's what I'm gonna leave the list as. Am I missing something? One thing that I did at the beginning of quarantine was I would just like sit outside, listen to music and tan. But it's literally like not possible to tan right now because the weather's been like this for like seven days. I know one more thing I'm gonna write down. So at the beginning of quarantine, I would just like randomly get ready for no reason. Now I just sit in my pajamas for like weeks at a time. So I'm gonna put get ready for no reason. Next up on the list, I'm gonna try to learn OG TikTok dances. First, we're gonna start off with Super Lonely. I literally know like two TikTok dances, which is this one and Say So. Oh, I can also like... Wait, that's wrong. Wait, Renegade. 
That's all I know. I learned this dance like a while back because I actually like enjoyed doing TikTok dances for some weird reason back then. So first of all, I'm just gonna do it without like watching a video of it to see if I can remember it. Hi, it's just editing Enzo coming in here to talk over the music because Wait, uh, I don't wanna get copyrighted. Sorry, just gotta get some coin. <laughs> Not bad, I just need to watch like one TikTok on it because I can't really remember it. Take two. Wait. I really don't feel like doing that anymore. So it's now a new day, but same sweatshirt, of course. And also, I swear my phone is literally listening to me. In the past, like, 12 hours, I've gotten at least, like, 10 TikToks that are, like, a rare aesthetic beginning of quarantine. And I've been looking through some comments to see what people are saying about it. And everyone's like, oh, this is so nostalgic. Take me back to this feeling. Which I was like, uh... Like, I screenshotted a few comments that I thought were pretty interesting. So one person said, can we please bring this back? Another person said, no, you don't understand. I miss it so much. And this is a comment that I agree with. It says, can a science person please explain why this is nostalgic for us when a pandemic had just broken out? And then there was another comment that I forgot to screenshot, but it was like somebody saying, they were like, yeah, I know you all hated it. Yeah, everyone was complaining during that time. Our lives are just kind of a cycle of just like experiencing something and complaining about it and then moving on and then like wishing you had that feeling back. Anyway, I'm getting like really sidetracked and everything but one thing that I want to do right now so basically on my Spotify go follow me on Spotify at Enzo Antonio so I make monthly playlists and add my favorite songs from that month I feel like a lot of people do this so I thought we'd go on my Spotify and just like listen to some of the songs from the beginning of quarantine era so I say we start off with March 2020 my music taste has changed so much over quarantine also all of these playlists are private but I guess you get a sneak peek into them now but if you go to my more like recent playlist that I have public you can see how my music taste has changed quite a lot for the better in my opinion oh so I had best Interest by Tyler the Creator. I'm pretty sure that was in my February and March playlist. That song's good. That song actually is very nostalgic to the beginning of quarantine. See, I'm kind of a hypocrite because I listen to these songs and I was like, oh, I remember this and everything. Oh, Super Lonely, of course. Oh, Sugar by Brockhampton. See, I feel like these songs are like nostalgic, however, I just don't listen to these types of songs anymore. She by Harry Styles. It's a good song. A Breathe Deeper by Tame and Paula. Oh, that's right. Because the Slow Rush, that album came out in February. Oh, see, now I'm getting nostalgic. Oh, Circle of Drain by Soccer Mommy. This song. Okay, let's go to April now. Oh, and also at the beginning of quarantine, I like ran a lot and then I just got like burnt out and stopped. But I have a running playlist that is very nostalgic. And one thing that I could do for this video is go on a run to recreate the like beginning of quarantine, but no. Why did I run to this song? This isn't really a good song to run to, but it's still a good song. It's Falling Down by Lil Peep and XXX Tentacion. I'm also trying not to get copyrighted, so. Okay, April 2020. Oh, I have a whole quarantine playlist. The adults are talking about The Strokes. The Strokes album was a major part of my start of quarantine era. Wait, this is actually bringing back so much nostalgia. If you don't already do this, make monthly playlists. Literally do it. It's so, like, nostalgic. Okay, I feel like that's enough of the playlist ranking. So let me check off OG quarantine music. Next is pretty easy. So at the beginning of quarantine, everyone played Animal Crossing, like, a lot. However, I still play that game, like, on the daily. So it's not gonna be hard for me, so I'm just gonna play Animal Crossing. Okay, so I got my Switch. Here's the annoying thing, though. I really want to like stream Animal Crossing like now and for like a video later on But like I think you need a bunch of different stuff to like be able to stream on the switch So that's kind of annoying. So I don't really know how I'm gonna show you Maybe I'll just like turn the camera over and I don't know. So I got Animal Crossing for Christmas, so I didn't really get it when it was like a huge start of quarantine thing. But I'm still like really addicted to it and my island is like slowly coming together. It's still so plain and ugly, so maybe it's like for the better that I can't stream it. Okay, so here's the angle we're dealing with. Here's my outfit. <laughs> my nice hat. Here's my house. It's actually really ugly, but here's the inside. It's actually so plain and ugly. I have a saxophone right here. And then here's my neighbor Drift's house. <laughs> and then up here is my other neighbor Agnes's house. And I have this cool little sitting area. I think that's enough for Animal Crossing for now because my island is so ugly and I'm embarrassed. So next thing I did, I didn't really film it, but I'm gonna like explain it through pictures because I got pictures. So one of the things that I saw on like TikTok was like the beginning of quarantine, like social distance walks and like bike rides and all of that. So I I went on like a nice little socially distanced bike ride and walk with my friend Claire. We just went on a bike ride and then found this cool like creek area and just sat on this like big log. So yeah, I don't know. I saw that the lake was too aesthetically pleasing to not put in the video. Okay. Okay. So it's been a little while, possibly a few days. I don't know. That'll be left a mystery. So next activity is probably my favorite because it requires the least amount of work. So that's always great. And that's watching Outer Banks. So fun fact about me is 
I don't really, excuse me, I don't really watch a lot of like new TV shows or whatever. I just watch the same three shows over and over again. And Outer Banks does happen to be one of those shows. I think it's like kind of an anxiety issue that like I just like watching the same thing over and over again because one, I'm too lazy to watch a new show and two, it like provides me some form of comfort that I know like exactly what's going to happen and like can quote every line. And I've watched Outer Banks like three times and I'm probably going to watch the first episode or watch a little bit of it and then probably get on that spiral and finish a show by tonight. That's not true because I actually have stuff to do today. Not really. It's more like just editing, but you want to watch too? Am I going to get like copyrighted by YouTube? Don't drop your beer. I'm not giving you another one. So I'll probably finish watching that later, but we should probably, oh, golden hour. We should probably continue with what we were doing. I feel like my energy levels just like went straight down. I'm also having major bedhead today. It's just been one of those days. I just kind of like got up, went to school and then Mm -mm. But fun fact, as someone who does happen to live in California, Calif I don't live in California, as someone who does happen to live in North Carolina, I can confidently say that the Outer Banks is like really different than what the show makes it look like. And the whole like pogues and kooks thing does not even exist. It's like somewhat funny in the show, but if that was in real life, that'd be just really cringy and cheesy. So I actually just remembered another thing on the list, and that's like FaceTimes with friends. So like I'm gonna call my annoying friend Lila now. So I'm just gonna like call her, and if she picks up, I'll just hang up immediately. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm like literally out of breath from running up the stairs. I'm kidding. I'll probably call her back later. I just need to edit after this and like, I don't know. She's like the only person that I FaceTime. Well, and to play Animal Crossing with my other friend, but... Okay. I don't know what the point of that was, but... I also FaceTime my friend back. I'm on mute right now, so she doesn't... So I was having no ideas about like what else I should do. So I went on TikTok and tried to find more of like the OG quarantine like aesthetic videos. I could at least try to fix this major bedhead. And one of them was how school was optional then. So for tonight with my homework, I will be making it optional and oh, I almost just dropped my computer. Tonight I will be making my school optional and not do my homework. So I'm gonna sit back, relax and yeah optional school. So I just watched some Outer Banks and scrolled through TikTok and I'm trying to like think of other things to do. I feel like there's something that I'm missing though. I mean the only thing is like whipped coffee but like I just it's kind of a waste because I've already tried it before and it was disgusting and yeah I look so bad right now. <sighs> I feel like this video is way more like boring and like not entertaining than I expected it to be which really just goes to show that like yeah on TikTok with like music and everything the idea of old quarantine seems fun and everything but then when I try to recreate it I kind of failed or you're just boring but then again i did like the bare minimum and everything i feel like such a debbie downer though because this entire video i've been just like trashing people who are saying i miss old quarantine and yeah if you think about it it's kind of stupid that we're like glamorizing the start of a pandemic but at the same time i do know what everyone means and like it is kind of nostalgic and definitely the beginning of quarantine like how my lifestyle was personally was so much like better than it is now because i at least tried to be productive at the beginning but now i just like completely am so burnt out and have given up i just personally don't want to go back to in person school for the remainder of this school year but come next year i want things to like start coming back to normal you know i already went into in person school for like a few days back in like november of last year when like my cohort went back and it wasn't at like full capacity or whatever and just like the whole setup that the school had like i know that they're trying their best to like follow precautions and like still operate school but it just like wasn't the actual school experience and i don't know i just hope our world can get back to like normal i guess and i feel like one thing that we're just gonna kind of have to like understand is when things do start opening back up again and we do have the chance to like go back to school and all of that. At first, we're all gonna be like so tired because if you think about it, we're so used to just like sitting in bed and staring at a Zoom meeting. So as soon as we have to like sit in a building, wake up earlier, we're all gonna be exhausted, but we're just gonna like have to get through it. Sorry, I just kinda like thought about that on the spot, but it was kind of motivational. So I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, also give it a thumbs up, because why not? I'm down to film a part two of this video. So if you have any other quarantine activities that you did or you know of, feel free to let me know and yeah, maybe a part two or something. Thing. I don't know. And call it down below your heart's desires. I post every Tuesday and Friday, so I'll see you next Friday for a very exciting video. Yeah, okay. Peace out. <laughs>